this has been a long awaited update and I wanted to come live or come on here earlier and give it this update, but I was waiting for the news conference, the press conference to be covered. Let me just say real quick, I apologize for any background noise. I didn't take the time to set up the camera and everything. I just turned on my phone because I wanted to give this update. As of today, July the 30th, 2024, at around 2 o'clock today, there was rumblings and talk on social media about an arrest in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. And there have been three arrests made. Dr. Michael McKinney, his son M.K. McKinney, and another young man named Josh Mullins have all been arrested in connection to the murder of Amber Spradlin, which took place in June of 2023. It's been 13 and a half months that the family and the community have been waiting for some update. And I don't have all the details. I am going to include whatever I can find. I'm going to put this video together somewhat quickly and hopefully by tonight or early tomorrow I'll be able to uh, add a little more to this. As of right now, M.K. McKinney was arrested and, connect and charged with the murder of Amber Spradlin. His father, Michael McKinney, who is a dentist in Prestonsburg and the part owner of the brick house where Amber Spradlin worked, has been charged with complicity, um, um, tampering with evidence, and Josh Mullins as well. While I did get to watch some of the press conference, the uh, feed that I was watching got cut off, so I'm going to include what I can find in, in clips. But according to her cousin, Debbie Hall, who has led the way, has, has led the Justice for Amber movement, and has kept Amber's case alive in the public to let people continue to be aware of the, you know, any any updates or anything that's going on. She did take part in the press conference and she did give some details. And even if it's only in the civil case, I think is what she said, that there would be some people who would be held accountable in a civil case and this all comes back to what it was to begin with in the very beginning when this first was reported was the failure on the part of the local law enforcement and the local um, 911 system to react or to go out on that 911 call that came in that night from that home. And the next morning, the cover-up started. The cover-up started as soon as Amber was murdered and cameras were removed, evidence was removed. I'm sure as time goes on, more details will come out, and I hope to be able to bring more. This, like I said, I, I'm just throwing this together as quickly so that I can post this to my YouTube channel and the Facebook page, Let's Talk True Crime. Um, if you haven't followed that page, please give it a follow. And I'll post as much as I can, but I just wanted to let everyone know that there have been arrests made in the murder of Amber Spradlin. Thanks for watching.